Good morning, everybody. My name is Jody. My husband, David John, and I have a small farm in the panhandle of North Idaho. These are our stories and adventures. And today, let's get you, show you what I got. I got 24 bales of compressed straw. And I use the compressed straw in the winter for the outside runs. I'm going to be using it in the old woodshed where it's going to be the home for the Muscovies. But I had to get it through that fence off of that trailer this morning without letting any birds escape. So I drained their pond. To, it needed to be cleaned anyways. But it worked as a really good distraction to keep the geese from and most of the ducks from being in my way. So I'll show you that, get their pond cleaned out, and then I'll show you where I'm going to be putting these bales of straw. So as you see, there's all that's left in the pond besides the two geese. Or is just goo that I gotta get swept out. But around the wood pile, you can see the, the remnants of the drainage in the pond. And the one thing nice that I found out about doing this and getting the tile out is it's just really easy to sweep the goo out. Normally I would have started doing that with the water draining out but I needed to get that straw in and the birds are already claiming it as theirs. Well now that I got 99% of the goo out of the pond put it back together and going to be filling it with water. So now we get to change boots out of rubber boots into work boots so I don't fill them full of straw but we get to move the straw to get ready for winter bedding. But the pond looks really good. Still got to get those tiles moved but all cleaned out. So Got the woodshed all cleaned out except for this corner of stuff that I'll just, for now, kind of hide with a straw. But got the two nest boxes in the in the back. I do have them a little elevated. I know probably not good because of mouse, but I didn't want them flat on the ground, so I'm gonna spread some shavings, get this area set up for winter, and then we'll go into the chicken coop. And the best part, if I can get out of my pocket, is I remembered my pocket knife today. So, gonna go grab a couple more bales of straw for getting this area set up. Be right back. Okay, so that's half of what I've got for going in here. The other half will go in there. So let's get this one spread out. So there, that's going to look really good for them this winter. 
And I am going to be running some solar fairy lights in here. So at night it won't be like a dark cave that hopefully they don't want to go into. Hopefully having a little light in here will encourage them to come in here at night. But in the clear shed right here where I have all the split firewood, somebody's been sleeping up on the firewood at night and just pooping all over it. So put the plastic up, hopefully to discourage that. But some of the geese have found the pond is being filled with fresh water. And one of the cool things is it looks like Loki, one of my male ganders, and Hill, the one female, looks like they're going to be a, a mated pair. They're always together. Because where you see one, you'll see the other. And when I come out to scratch them, Loki is always either right between my legs getting into the scratch barrel or right next to me and Hell's right next to him. I'm able to pet both of them. They don't want me to hold them, of course, they're birds, but the definitely are like me as mama. So hopefully that means next spring when they're sitting on eggs, Loki will remember that he likes me. So let's get the chicken coop set up. So just like last year, I'm going to do several bales of straw along the fence here just to work as a wind block and snow block. Um, last year we didn't put any on the fence behind you and we did have some blowing of snow. Hence the reason I got twice as much straw as last year so I can kind of get a little wall over there. And I don't mind putting the straw down and then using it as the compost because I'm not really worried about uh, grass seed from the straw because the birds will peck through and they miss, may miss one or two, but they're really easy to pull out when you're doing maintenance weeding in the garden. So let's get this stuff moved over. And I have to be careful because a couple of them, um, one of the bands has already been sprung on them. Okay, that gets that wall. So I'm gonna turn you around and show you where I'm gonna put the other ones. Hopefully, Professor's ramp isn't really in the way. So this last bale, I'm gonna gonna spread out in here. Got a funny to tell you after I've just got done moving the 24 bales of straw off the trailer into the pen and then into its areas. I was at the feed store getting grain the other day. 
and as I'm going in they had an associate standing there pretty much in the way of the other associate that was loading this older couple's vehicle up with some potting mix which at this time of year it was an older couple so yes they probably needed help but she's standing there going it was just too heavy for me I couldn't pick it up and she's like and I'm at home I don't have to pick anything heavy up because I've got a big strong strapping husband that does it for me and I wanted to go sweetheart even Superman can fail and have something go wrong where you're gonna have to learn to pick heavy things up as I'm getting eight bags at 50 pounds a piece of grain but I think it's just the difference of different people, the, their priorities. The, she doesn't think she has to, so she doesn't even try. I don't know. I just thought it was strange because my Superman, he'd be here helping me if he could. Fortunately, he's at work, but even if he wasn't at work, they're too biggy, too big, too heavy, and too awkward for him to be able to help me with and if I want to continue with this I've got to do it so no more rambling let's get this last bale opened up and spread out in here and this will be ready for when the rain and snow starts because it's not that far off There, that looks really nice and neat for them. And the one thing nice about compressed straw compared to regular straw is it's fine. So this stuff over here is a little closer to regular straw. And you see how long those pieces are. If you use it as bedding, it just sits there and mats on top of itself especially when it gets wet and gets manure on it and then it's really heavy and hard to clean but this stuff is really easy to clean up and the chickens will get in here and rearrange it how they want it rearranged as they're pecking through it, but got the two walls put up. So let's go see what's going on in the woodshed, and then I'm going to take you out and show you where the hoop house is going. Okay, got a bunch of babies right there. Emma or Lofts. And I did the stuff from unloading the trailer. I just threw in the wheelbarrow and threw in here for these guys. And the Orlofts over here cleaning up where the pile was. Got a couple roosters right there. The Two with the, actually the three there with the really dark tails are going to be my roosters. And that one right there that's running away. That is Princess. And yeah, Princess isn't a princess. Well, it's just the mama turkeys are in there 
checking it out. Shadow and LeBron's. Still got a couple pieces and, and they're getting clean. Just have to remember that hose is on. But this is the basic layout of where the hoop house is going to be. All that area. And yes, we're going to have to get that shed tore down and moved out. But the here gives you the idea. It's going to be two foot boxes in the shape of a U all the way around with shelving as needed in the center walkway. And then still got to get that all cleaned out for the woodshed to go on. But that perennial sunflower did turn out really pretty there. And this one over in front of the greenhouse is just absolutely covered with honeybees. Happy that something's still blooming. So if you were ever at my place at night, my garden gets lit up like the 4th of July every night. I absolutely love solar lights and if I can get this unwound. And my favorite is these little copper solar lights. They're the fairy twinkle lights. So they've just got the copper strand and they have, I don't know if the camera's gonna focus on that or on me. They have those little bulbs right there. Those are little LED bulbs that light up. Little solar panel takes a rechargeable uh, or a solar chargeable AA battery. But I'm gonna take and run these guys in here, I have them on the deck I and our breezeway, so just a little bit of light at night. And then I have it all the way around all the fences around the, the house. I just like it, just doesn't get uber bright, but is bright enough that kind of scares something bad away. So I'm going to get these guys set up in here. And the solar collector is going to go on the outside back wall. So I'm going to go around back and get these mounted and then come in and run some solar lights. The only really negative thing I have to say about these is they come where you have to start where you want to end. So. When I've done it on the fence, I've spooled them all off, so I know where exactly it's going to be. So I'm going to do that here. Probably should have done this before I hung the solar collectors. It would have been easier. Okay, I'll be back with you guys when I'm ready to hang this up. Well, that was a bit of a pain, but I got them both off. I did kind of start the one going over here so it wouldn't be in the way of this one. But it's kind of a tangled mess. Okay. So kind of going to do just a random zigzag over the whole roof and I am going to use a couple screws and 
The nice part about <clears throat> the copper wire is I can just twist it around the head of a screw so I'll be able to run it on the beams and it'll stay in place. So let's get this hung up. there kind of got some sort of randomly zigzaggy pattern going on so depending on what time I get home tonight we're going to a friend's for dinner I'll either come out tonight and get video or pictures of what it looks like when it's all lit up or I'll get it tomorrow morning but I'll make sure to include it in this video so that's where I have the two solar panels for the interior lights. Right now they're a little bit in the shade, but come this afternoon they'll be in full sun. So this is where I'm gonna end today's video. Gonna do a little highlight reel of my solar array at night. Hopefully it shows up a little well on the camera. So don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button and we'll see you on the next video. Bye for now. I know you really can't see me, but I figured out where the Russian Orlovs have been sleeping.